Welcome back. back! Here we are. We are excited for this week. We have a special guest. To welcome back. Yes. We have none but the Koi. The Koi. Hi, everybody. Everyone say the Koi. <laughs> the Koi. The me. Yes. So yes. we have Koi here. He has finally decided to come back. He's been a little busy doing some schoolwork and stuff like that. So that's good. We, we, we respect school. And Koi, I lost. You did. All the games. Yeah. After you left. Because as soon as you left, I just, it was done. Game over for James. That, that was by design. So <laughs> if we lose, which we're not going to, we're going to win because we're annihilating the girls. But if we lose, we you're taking the pie in the face because I already took one. <laughs> oh no. So yeah. So that's... Well, it might not be pie. We're still deciding. Send your suggestions of what we should throw on them when they lose. Well, it won't be on us. It'll be on the girls. Because right now we are we'll winning. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I have a plan. Anyway, anyway, so we are ready to start. That's right. So the service begins in three, two, one. <laughs> Here we go. Now it's time for praise. So get up, find your spot where you can dance, karate chop the air, but not your brother or sister. And we're gonna have a lot of fun, so let's go. I'm feeling good, good, good in a crazy way. God's love changed me more than I can say. Can't keep this in, gotta let it out. Gonna tell the whole world that your love is spinning me round and round. Yeah, it's turning me upside down. I can't believe the way you love me more than I can contain. I'm gonna turn around and give, give, give it away.
And now it's time for the five most important things. So let's go ahead and say it all together. One, God loves me. Two, I have sinned. Three, Jesus died for me. Four, I need to decide to live for God. And five, go and tell others about Jesus. Now last week we had a um, competition and our winner is, drum roll please, is Aaliyah Ayo. Congratulations, we're gonna show you her clip right now. God is me, I have sinned, Jesus died for me, I need to decide to live for God, go tell others about Jesus. It's game time and I'm so excited because we have Koi with us today. He's finally back to help the boys win, but I have a feeling that the girls are gonna dominate today. Just wanted I'm to- focusing. Let, oh. I gotta focus. He's focused. Let me tell you how this game works. You have to only use one hand and flip the red cup till it lands right side up. Whoever can do the first one to land right side up will win. We have extra cups just in case we need them, but We're gonna here need we go. Them. <laughs> we might. It's our first time really playing this game, so good luck. On your marks, get set, go! Oh my God. No. Oh my goodness. Oh, so close. Oh, no, oh, I got two! <laughs> yes! <laughs> this game, this point goes to the boys. All right, guys, here is round two. It is Nana versus James. On your marks. All right. Get set, go! <laughs> That's one! <laughs> that I win! <laughs> so that point goes to the girls. girls! All right, here is game number two. We have a box of ping pong balls. We are using them again. We have some cups here. We have 10 cups on the boys' side, 10 on the girls' side. And the idea of the game is to get as many ping pong balls into the cups in 30 seconds. So, hands up. This game begins in three, two, one. Here we go. Harder than it looks, people. It's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> 10 seconds. That counts. And it, it's just falling. <laughs> Three, two, uh, okay. I have zero. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so you, this counted. You, you've won already. It's I have fine. one. <laughs> and then I have two. And then I have three. And then I have four. And I have five. I win. <laughs> so first point goes to the girls. We're going to reset our ping pong balls real quick. And now it's round two. Same game. Good luck. Good luck. Get ready. Get set. Go! No. I'm not. Where's my strategy? I have no strategy. Just throw. Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, I got two. Oh, I got three. I'm just like, ah! I'm not even. Okay, I think there's like 15 seconds left or something. 10 seconds Ten. left! Oh. oh! Oh my gosh, five, four, four three, three, two, one. Uh, how many did you get? Okay, okay, let me count this. I have one, two, three, four for the girls. Oh, five! Let me see how many you got. I got one. Uh -huh. I have two. And I have three, four. I have five. But then I also oh. have six. This game goes to the boys. Good job. Woo! And now it's time for worship. So go ahead, find your space where you can really block out all your distractions and worship God. We're going to sing the song today, Raise a Hallelujah, which I've been told you guys, a lot of you know it, so that's really good. But if you don't, the lyrics will be on the screen and you can watch and learn the words and then worship all together. So here we go. Raise a hallelujah in the presence 
God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the lesson today. Would you bless it? Would you encounter us today in this time? We love you, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now it's time for the lesson. So I want you guys to find your spot where you can sit, grab your Bible, pause this right now if you need to go grab it from your room, and then press play. But we want to make sure you guys are following along and learn a lot. So. Get ready, when I count to three, the lesson's gonna begin. Ready, one, two, three. There's many times in life where we are faced with what seems like impossible situations. You see, I want you guys to look at these two rings. These two rings are attached, and no matter what I do, no matter how hard I try, I could twist it, I could turn it, I could pull as hard as I can, there's no way that I can separate these rings. In order for these rings to be separated, I need to give it to someone who knows what they're doing. See, when you give it to that person who knows what they're doing, they'll look at it, they'll see, and they can do what seems impossible to happen. Isn't that incredible? But you see, that reminds me of something that we're gonna be talking about today, and that is today's top truth. Jesus can do miracles in your life. Let's say that together. Jesus can do miracles in your life. And maybe for you, you find yourself having a hard time concentrating. When I was a kid, I would go to school, I would do homework, and I would be, have a hard time concentrating and finishing what I was being told to do. And it felt like an impossible situation in my life. No matter what I did, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't fix the situation. But you see, when that happens, you need to stop and you need to go to Jesus and say, Jesus, I need help with this impossible situation. And when you do that, Jesus can do miracles 
in your life. And he can do what you can't. Maybe for some of you, it's having a behavior issue. You have anger issues and your parents, they tell you to, to try to control it. Your family, your friends, your teachers, they're telling you you need to be better behaved. And you try, it's your per you try to do your best, you try to, to do what you can, but you simply cannot fix it. You see, right there, you need to go to Jesus and ask him for help in that situation. When you do that, Jesus will come and he can do a miracle in your life. You see, this isn't just me talking or us doing a cool trick. No, this is from the Bible. You see, the Bible tells us in the memory verse for today, in Luke 1 verse 37, it says, for nothing is impossible with God. That means no matter what situation you are confronted with, it might seem impossible for you. You might do what you can do, but when you bring that situation to God and you give it to Him, nothing is impossible with God. So I want you guys to remember today's top truth. The next time you're faced with what seems like an impossible situation, go to Jesus, because Jesus can do miracles in your life. I don't know about you, but there have been times in my life where I felt completely helpless. Like my situation was impossible. And maybe you've felt like that before. But you know, the cool thing is that we have Jesus in our lives and Jesus can do miracles in your life. And actually, when Jesus was alive walking, he was going around to all kinds of different towns and villages, traveling and sharing about God and sometimes even doing miracles. And I want to tell you about a time today where he went to a house in a village and I want you to look at this video to see what happened. How shall we picture the kingdom of God? It is like a mustard seed which a man took and sowed in his field. The smallest seed in the world. Yet, when planted, it grows up and becomes the biggest of all. What's going on? It becomes a tree where birds can come. He's paralyzed. And make their nests. Now, I want to focus here. I want to freeze in this moment because something happened that here that is different than a lot of the miracles Jesus did. You see, this man was paralyzed. He couldn't move. He couldn't walk. He couldn't do anything for himself. It was his friends that brought him to Jesus because they knew that Jesus could do the miracle. And boys and girls, in your life, you may feel sometimes like that paralyzed man, like there's nothing you can do within your situation. Maybe there's someone in your family or a friend who is really, really sick. And the doctors say there's no cure. Or maybe you know someone, or maybe you have been told you have ADHD, ADD, dyslexia, and that right there seems like an impossible situation. But that right there is exactly the moment where Jesus can do a miracle in your life. Just go to Jesus, ask him to heal you. He may just heal you and imagine that. That's exactly why when you go through situations in life, impossible things, remember that Jesus can do miracles in your life. And it's not just us saying that. We're gonna continue to watch what happens in this story. So look at the screen. Sins are forgiven, my son. Get up and walk. I hope you saw that. I hope you're encouraged because Jesus, he didn't just do miracles back then. He does miracles still today and he can do miracles in your life. So remember that next time you're in a crazy situation that seems impossible. Go to Jesus because Jesus can do miracles in your life. Today, I want to take you all the way to London. 
It was the grand opening of a special museum and their number one attraction was Vanessa the Vase. See, Vanessa the Vase had been taking weeks and weeks of Perry the Potter of making her. He was filing her, he was making sure that she was the best, best vase that could possibly be created. And the day had come where Vanessa was the centerpiece in the museum. And Vanessa was sat there and everyone was looking at her and ooh, ah, and that next day, Vanessa was going to be opened up for the public to see. And as the lights turned down and she snuggled in, she said, ah, tomorrow will be the day where I will finally shine bright. And as she was sleeping that night, she heard some rustling going on. And as she was sleeping, she heard, she looked around and she, she saw some, some robbers. And the robbers came and said, hey, chap, we got her, she's over here. And they went over there and they took her and they were just about to put her into the box when the alarm started to sound. And v Vanessa, they, they, they panicked and they threw her to the side and she fell to the ground. And all the other artifacts and statues, they came by and they looked and they said, oh boy, you look like a goner. I don't think you're gonna be able to be on show tomorrow. Vanessa, she was crying. She, she thought, I'm damaged goods. There's nothing good that's gonna come from me now. And that's exactly what happened. The museum owners came, they took her, they put her in a damaged goods box and they put her on a shelf. And Vanessa, she sat on that shelf and she thought, well, that's it. I guess I'm gonna be no good. No one's gonna use me anymore. But you see, right there, Vanessa was looking at her life and she thought that she could never be used again. Why? Because she was damaged goods. There was something that was wrong with her. And right there, I want you guys to focus. It looked like an impossible situation for her life. What she thought was gonna happen seemed like it would never happen in her life. I want you guys to tell you guys a story about my own life. You see, my sister's name is Jessica and she was born when I was 12 years old and she was a perfectly normal child until the age of four when she was diagnosed with epilepsy. And my sister was really sick and she could barely do normal life and the doctors, they put her on medication, they did all their stuff and it just didn't help my sister, it made it worse. You see right there, it seemed like an impossible situation. But you know what we did? We prayed, we said, Jesus, we know you are the Lord of the miracles and we know that you can do a miracle in her life. And through a lot of different situations, we ended up going to a different doctor and this doctor changed her medication. They, they gave her natural medicines, they gave her vitamins, they gave her all the stuff that she needed in her life. And you know what happened? My sister's life was changed because Jesus did a miracle in her life. You see right there, Vanessa, she was sat on that shelf and she thought that her life was over. But in the newspaper, of course, they had reported that there was a robbery at the museum and that Vanessa the vase had been broken. And guess who read that newspaper? Yep, it was Perry the Potter. And he read it, he knew that he had to do something. So he ran out of, the, of, the, of his house and he ran to the museum and he asked if he could have Vanessa to fix her up. And he took Vanessa and he looked and he said, Vanessa, this is gonna be a lot of work and it's not gonna be easy, but I know that you can be ready by tomorrow. And Vanessa, and the, the potter, they began to, to work and to, to file and they were doing all these things, they were putting her back together. But before you know it, Vanessa was made just in time so that she could be the center piece of the museum's grand opening. Why? Because Perry the potter did a miracle and he fixed her in time. And that's exactly what we're teaching you guys today with today's Top Truth, is that Jesus can do miracles in your life. And I have a challenge for you. If you need a miracle, I don't know what that may be in your life. It may be something personal. It may be a sickness that you have. It may be someone in your family that you want to pray for. Then we're going to take some time now and we're going to pray and believe that Jesus can do miracles today. So I want you to pray with me. 
Say, dear God, thank you for loving me so much and for sending your son, Jesus, to this earth. I believe that he can do miracles in my life. And I'm asking today that Jesus would do a miracle in that situation. And I pray this in Jesus' name, amen. All right, that is it for this week. We had a lot of fun with you guys this week. We hope you did too. And remember to share this video with someone who maybe hasn't seen it yet. It's a great lesson for someone to yeah. hear. So don't forget to share, share, share. And don't forget our midweek video that will be happening this Wednesday. Look for it and share that with a friend. And make sure you watch it. It's really fun. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but it's, it's a really fun game we have that you will want to see. And we have a guest speaker who is actually a girl. This one time we have a girl, finally. We're going to get more girls involved, but we're really excited for her. So make sure you check it out. Don't miss it. We love you guys.